Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That's Deb Chanel's 40th World. Well, we talk about celebrities and their comings and goings. And I know sometimes y'all be like, girl, <laughs> get a life. Get out those people's lives. And I'll just that and the third. Well, can't nobody tell it like I can tell it. And I plan on telling it. And you might be asking me why. Because I can, can, and I can, can, and I can, can, and I can, can, and I will. Okay? We're going to be talking about Nina Leakes. Yes, and her... Playboy, Shaba, Scammer Man, Shaba, yes, the Scammer Man, Shaba, Shaba, yes, honey, Nene and her, I, see what I'm saying, what the hell Nene got on her feet, Jesus, ooh, boy, she talking about yours, mine, and ours, no, 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 you should be saying, I don't want no scrub, scrub can't, can't get enough something on me. Singing on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is the kind of guy. Can't get no loving from me. Hey, that's what you should be saying, Nene. Instead of trying to possibly, allegedly, okay, stating, you're going to move to Miami. That is what I hear out on these Atlanta streets, girl. And Miami's not too far from Georgia, so it's plausible. It's very plausible that you may end up in the sunny state of Florida. Yes, Florida. And with all the money, you are definitely downsizing. Seems like the club is out for business. Okay, and that's piss poor. That's piss poor management and being a owner or something. That's piss poor, Nene, because like you just be setting up stuff. They're so, like, uh, bar one and and um Peter Thomas be setting up stuff, getting all this money, and then you go belly up and run, run like ain't nobody gonna say nothing to you, like you invisible, like Casper the ghost, and Casper at least was a friendly ghost, but you, lady, mm -mm, mm -mm. you got too much dirt on your name, girl, and you can't run it high unless you're gonna change your face, like in one of those movies. I think it was called Face Off or something like that. Forget the guy who was playing in the movies. Really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah. You're running, you're running, you're running. And somebody, some good, good girlfriend to you that doesn't like the social light scene. Don't want to be taken in photos when you get that uh, photo op to be seen. And they're going to put it on a magazine or a picture or a tabloid. You know, the kind of friend that's like, they don't want you to know who they are. They don't care for you to know who they are. Those kind of people. You know what I'm saying? They ain't. You need friends like that so they can tell you when you're wrong. And congratulate you when you're right. But ain't nothing right about you messing with a married man. And you should know better. But then again, I don't know. Your mama will probably why You don't really say too much about your mama. It's kind of like a Kenya story. The mama just didn't, didn't want y'all. So. But you have to rise above it, honey. You have to rise above it. Don't peek. Don't repeat your mama's mistakes so if your mama was a rolling stone and your daddy was a rolling stone i guess you kind of get up honestly because it's just going through your bloodline thank god you didn't have any girls okay yeah boys and with your youngest child bryson <coughs> i'm sure Greg taught him how to be a gentleman and what to look for when he wants a woman to settle down with. So I would I would think Greg would have had that talk with your son. So that's a good thing. But girl, why are you trying to run to the beach? You know you don't like to get suntan. You know you don't like to get suntan. You already, your little cocoa uh, deep chocolate already. You don't need to be burnt crispy, crispy chocolate. You know what I'm saying? 
But child, Lena, you have tripped me out. I'm telling you. Boy, you, you hard to keep up with, girl. You hard to keep up with. Especially when you run around with a man that's married. And every time, somebody probably want to remind you of it when they see you in public, girl. They want to remind you of it. Or they give you dirty looks. Is, is that what we be running from, Nene? Because people have spotted you and all the tabloids, all the bloggers, all the newspapers have been reporting that you have been fooling around with a married man. Mm-hmm. And you don't even care to stop. Doing it, being seen with him. I mean, you do have a son that's rolling around here in these streets as well. What you think he probably listening to them talking about his mother and all this stuff? Did you ever think about your son, any both your sons, and the reputation you putting out here, girl? If the man is single, has been single more than two years. You need to leave him alone because he ain't no good. He up to no good. He don't want no good but to scam you out of all your money, girl. Out of all your hard-earned working money from Ratchet TV shows and this, that, and the third. That's all he want, Nene. He don't want you, girl. He don't want you. Okay? I'm not saying you ugly because you're not. And his wife is not ugly because she's not. But y'all both have been played well, Okay? But at least the wife is trying to do something about it. I just wish she would have did it to both of y'all. Y'all both had to come out 50 grand a piece. Because we can't forget about his infidelity. His cheating ways. His philandering ways. Roaming eye. Shabba man just can't help it. Might be a sex addict. I don't know. Ain't too hard to believe that it could be that. But then again, I still think he goes to the other team. He goes for the other team. But, hey, he might be like Candiverse. Go both ways. Who knows? Who knows? It's all allegedly. We're all just having a conversation about the comings and goings. On what in the world has got Nene running like she running a race. Okay? Or she running a race for her dear life. Because less than a year, this child has lost a husband, been in two relationships, the one that was fronting like she wanted to be a cougar, and then this man right here just falls out of the air. Peter just happened to have him sitting there waiting to be introduced to Nene Leakes. How cold, how calculated the situation has become. And now... Nene took three tri three trips in one month. That's a record. That's a world record. She went to Africa. She went to Paris, France. Then she turned around and went to New York's wedding in Las Vegas. And you tell me, is she not a jet setter? She's a jet setter. But the only thing that's the problem we're, we're uh, we ain't really worried about because that ain't our life. You know what I'm saying? We just vicariously looking through yours and trying to make it make sense. Okay? Which is that's my other channel. Make sure y'all go over there. I'm talking about everybody over there too. But this channel is mostly made for for housewives and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't get out of that algorithm. So go over there and support your your uh, Deb, your cousin. Have y'all seen me, Grandma? Cousin, friend, auntie, yes, neighbor. It's all the same. We all come with love. But then, it, I mean, you just really keep embarrassing yourself. Fighting with a woman on social media, trying to throw slick shade. And then she bounced right down after that North Carolina courthouse and got you this, baby. And how could she know where you are? How could she know all that information on you, girl? You sleeping with the enemy, honey. I keep telling you, you're sleeping with the enemy. Because I'm sure Peter didn't give it to her. He already set her up for the okie doke. Just so Shabba Man can do what he wants with her finances. And probably get him a cut off the bat. Okay? Cynthia wasn't no fool. When Cynthia knew Peter had went in her account without her permission. It was a no-fly zone right there. She had to get rid of that, but she dropped them like it was hot. And everybody thought, well, Peter dumped her. No, Cynthia, she, hey, she might be flaky, and she might be not be the sharpest tool in the shed. But when she know her money's attracting, and she know she ain't spending it, or Noel is not spending it, 
Somebody got a problem. And I guess that's when 50 Cent, her other uh, ego come out. And she just be wanting to just tear shit up or whatever. Or get on somebody's nerves. But yeah, guys, I had uh, mysteriously got a little tip that Miss Nene Leakes will be going to Florida to live out her old age. She might retire down there. Because really, what does she have? She could do business trips from Florida. Come here. She can drive here. That's about, what, maybe three or four hours? She can do that. And then she had to go to New York or whatever. But, you know, it just seems very gloomy at this time. I really don't know and I ain't trying to really find out about the intricate parts of being in the entertainment business. But it must be really, really filthy lucrative to be a celebrity, even on a reality show. Because you, for example, you got Porsche, not Porsche, oh Lord, not Porsche, but you got Phaedra Pauls. She is a lawyer, an entertainment lawyer. Then she has a mortuary degree, just like the gynecologists and the, um, the pediatric doctors and the pediatric surgeons. They bring life into the world. But you got to have somebody to assist taking the person out of the world. Those are the two money makers. You would never be without. Okay? Mm-hmm. Why would she need to be on TV? And then she said, this is Fetch Pops I'm still talking about. She growing sea moths. I'm like, what the hell you? <laughs> I'm like, that's for my other video, guys. Because we got to crank that up and see what in the hell is happening? What she talking about? She dibbling dab and this and that and third, being very vague, very vague. But then she gonna talk about she sells sea moss. <laughs> like what? Is it sea moss pills? Is it sea moss uh, liquid? Is it sea moss in a capsule formulation? What's going on? And I knew she was lying. I knew she was lying. That's a cover up for something else. Cause she ain't sitting trying to produce. Nothing of a sort. Because I'm still trying to figure out what her house paid for. Because she moved after her and Paulo did what they had to do. She moved. I think it was downtown or close to downtown. Oh, it might have been in. No, it wasn't in Dunwoody. It had to have been in like Roswell or something like that. But anyway, or maybe Johns Creek. But, um, Fraser said, um,. The Wendy Williams show with Michael Rappaport, the one that Ken don't really care for, the one she had to get straight several times. But it seems like they have made amends. Yeah, sit on that show, honey. Come on. She has a home in Dubai. I said, it got to be rented, baby. It got to be rented because you've been itching your ass. I mean, she was making everybody ass itch. Trying to get back on this show. I said, it has to be lucrative because to have two degrees being certified to practice and you rather be on a television show full time. <laughs> and I, but then again, I guess it is lucrative because Nina ain't never wanted to look back. She just wanted to make Real Housewives of Atlanta till she retire. But they had other moves. <laughs> they wanted to make on Nene Leakes. And, you know, like I said, if she gives an ordinary person the uh, cold shoulder, it is plausible. It could be ringing true she does it to her castmates. And she could have been up there acting like a a diva, wannabe or whatever, want to just say, uh, I made you this, I made you that. And yet, well, you cut the food, but you didn't even do anything professional. I mean, you weren't acting. You don't have an acting degree, but once y'all get a little line, a cameo part in a play or in a um, sitcom, y'all are actor and y'all are actress now. I'm like, don't do the, don't do the crap like that, okay? People actually go to school, study the form, and get a certificate in it, okay? Ah, do the work. Stop trying to claim fame to acting and this, that, and the third. No, do the work, okay? Because I couldn't see Nene on a big screen. Damn sure once when can't see Frazier, even though she was at, what is that thing? She was having a convent or something. 
uh, I guess it just got three episodes because nothing really was known about it. But when she was promoting it and a little promotion they gave to her. But child, I was like, this is a hot mess. A hot mess. But we're going to go on and listen to how uh, Phaedra still gets down. She's still shady. And uh, she ain't going to ever let it go. Because Candy won't let it go. And she's mad because she can't come back. And everybody really want her to come back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I'm telling you, it has to be something that Candy is holding as an ace in the, uh, ace in the hand of the player. Which is her. It has to be something about... What Phaedra said and did. It really was atrocious. I know. But I guess. Candy could have definitely brought legal action. Against Bravo. By having her in a position. Where she's working alongside somebody. That is trying to take her livelihood. Away from her. So I understand. And get it got it good. But I'm like girl. They're they going to be easing you out Candy. Because I saw you sitting at the board. Of directors or trying to get a seat at the executive table. I did see it for you. It didn't pan out. It didn't pan out. And I'm sorry for that. But it's time for you really to fly. And uh, make your mark in other things. You just don't know what a good feel it would be for you to be behind the scenes. You're directing. You're instructing. You know you're just getting it done. Like you can do. But like some people say. You're going to milk it to it's dry. You're going to get rid of your revenue stream. That furnish you the extra funds. To go do other projects. And I get it. I get it. Got it good. I get it. However. Uh, we need some fresh blood. We really need some fresh human faces. That we don't know nothing about. Get them a couple of years. Because really Drew need to go on off, just go on off the show. And I don't know, Sanya seemed like she's turning to be a mean girl running around now. Cause like, first, you liked it. Um, what's her name? Drew. Now you got a problem with Drew. Like, you've been dealing with Drew for years. And then she just changed up on your behind. I'm like, no, nah, Sanya. I mean, Sanya, I was riding for you, but I ain't like that. I'm like, pick a few, pick a fight. But don't be nitpicking. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody's liking her. And she did all this and she said all that. And you're going to talk, oh, I don't like you no more. <laughs> I was like, this is some bullshit. But anyway, let's take a listen to what Phaedra had to say. I'll leave the girls in Atlanta on the Titanic. What is your opinion of Candy? Uh, I've, I've seen her out, but, um, you know, I don't have, I mean, Candy's a great businesswoman. Um, you know, that was six years ago. It was. You know, and so as you well know, I'm yachting in Dubai. <laughs> So, you know, I'll leave the girls in Atlanta on the Titanic. What is your... <laughs> oh, that I'll was see funny you. as hell. And see, that's what uh, dramatization or the drama in sitcoms and reality shows, that's what you need. Somebody quick on their feet, quick with their mouth, quick with their tongue, get it, got a good, boom, bam. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, that's that was funny. That was a, that was some funny shade right there. Only Southern Belle can get it torn up like that and still be ready to twist on out of there. Okay, but that's all we have for this particular video, guys. Like it, love it. Make sure you definitely continue to subscribe to the channel. Tell other people about me and um, like and share my videos, and then go over to the other channel, which is Make It Make Sense. Y'all doing a beautiful job over there. I'm getting a lot of traction on a, a, a lot of new subscribers. So I know I must be doing a darn thing. And then we got another channel that it's me and my daughter. We're actually on camera. So you can see what I look like. Because I don't know why people think I'm scared to show my face. Or I'm scared to show my body. No, I'm not. It's just it's lesser time to get kind of dolled up or whatever. Because I've been coming home from work. And I'm like, okay, I'm in full gear. Let me go on the tape with my daughter, you know, because she likes me taping with her as well. But sometimes we don't agree on certain things, and I have to shut shit down because you're not going to bother me. You ain't gonna, you're not going to have my peace disrupted, you know, because I, I love to talk. I can have a conversation with anybody, and um, I can film. But sometimes she just want to do everything too perfect. You know, she just be nitpicking. I can't be doing all that. I can't be doing all that. But we have established another channel. Where it's going to be me and her. We're going to be talking about reality shows. Or just what's happening out there. Trending in the world today. Uh, it makes us be like. Hmm. We want to have a conversation about it. 
So, and then you can always go to her channel, which is Star J Craziness, or is it Star Craziness? Hell, it's one of them. But you'll know who she is if you've already been on her channel before, because I've definitely shouted her out. So, I will see y'all next video, and you have options between me and my daughter. <laughs> when you want to get a chuckle here and there, go check out our videos, because that's what it's for, laughter. That's all, entertainment. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.